Nobody put Cheryl in a corner. Cheryl Angelelli is a former Paralympic swimming champion who has become world class in another sport. I retired from swimming in 2014 and obviously it left this huge void in my life, um, you know, competing and training and uh, was looking for something different and um, that's how I kind of got into wheelchair ballroom dancing. The 49-year-old and her partner Tamerlan Goderov last year won silver in an international competition for para dance, ballroom dancing for those with an impairment affecting the lower limbs. Wowing the judges with their rendition of the famous I've had the time of my life scene from the movie Dirty Dancing. It is such an iconic American dance that people relate to and they don't expect somebody in a wheelchair to do that. Angelelli has been exceeding expectations for more than three decades, ever since she was paralyzed from the chest down in a diving accident. In addition to her athletic endeavors and day job in marketing, Angelelli teams with Fred Astaire Dance Studio near Detroit to offer free monthly classes for people with physical limitations. Talk to Megan on your way up. Now she and studio owner Evan Mountain are looking to make it possible for even more wheelchair users to take up the sport they love. Now the Paralympic Committee has, and the Para Dance Sport Committee has contacted us and they realized that in order for the United States to grow with wheelchair ballroom dancing, they needed to have trained uh, instructors. The studio in June will host the first organized U.S. training for paradance instruction. We have um, coaches that come here to Fred Astaire and um, dancers who've won all kinds of championships and they try to dance with me and they're just, it's totally foreign to them. They're like, wow, this is a lot harder than I thought. So um, having somebody who is specially trained and knows what they're doing is very, very important. Beyond skill building, the goal is to spread awareness of a sport that is far more popular in Europe and Asia. Well, the more that we can get people trained here in the United States, I think it's really going to open up opportunities and possibilities for more people to get involved in the sport. Until then, Angelelli will continue having the time of her life. Mike Householder, The Associated Press, Bloomfield Township, Michigan.